Hey, gangsters. Hi, long time no talk. Yeah, so we've been absent for quite a while. We've put out maybe a couple little videos here and there, you know, just kind of short little snippets of things. Uh, but we've been mostly absent for months. Yes, and sorry. Yes, we, we apologize. It's not been accidental. Um, and all of the chips have fallen, so to speak. So now we can kind of explain <laughs> why we've been absent. So, um, first of all, we've had a few family medical issues uh, that have been up in the air. And uh, I'm going to let Pam kind of talk about that a little bit. In November, um, our son and daughter-in-law informed us that their baby, who was due to be born in late March, had T, sorry, D, T, G, A. It is a congenital heart defect that um, was going to require surgery within a day or two of birth. Basically, the two main arteries that feed your heart and come from your heart are swapped. To the lungs. Yeah. 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 So and basically, you don't get any oxygen or get very little oxygen. Right. So, um, and so there were a lot of plans that were made for where the baby would be born and, you know, they had to pick a hospital. And so while it didn't directly, directly impact us, it did directly impact us. You know, our grandson was going to need some special attention. Um, and so we, um, no, we talked to about that. Well, we also just to, to kind of back up a little bit. We we know that we mentioned I think in December or Christmas time that we were going to go on a great big trip, and yeah. as a result of this, we canceled that trip and yeah. did not go on that trip. And you know, hopefully, our plan is to definitely go on yeah. a big trip like Next that. Spring. Probably a few of them actually. Yeah. Probably several. Yeah. Um, Next spring for sure. But um, you know, I felt like probably should at least mention that is to explain that's the reason why we didn't go on that okay. yeah yeah which I think we had said something in one of our last videos about planning for a big trip because we actually I think had made virtually all we had of it the it was completely planned out the yeah. whole thing from beginning to end we yeah. had it all laid out we used uh, road trippers which was it's, on, it's an awesome map by the way uh, yeah. we're not sponsored by them but I will tell you that that is a really good app. Being here for Daniel and for our son and daughter-in-law was far more important. Oh yeah, you know, so. yeah. It's it's a no-brainer when it's family. Right. Yeah. And he's just, doing great, by yeah, the way. To set your heart at ease, he was born on his grandfather and cousin's birthdays. He was. Yeah. He had his surgery two days later. He came through like a champ, um, and has been home from the hospital for two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, he has been been to his pediatrician and everything's going well and he's been back up to duke for um to have his stitches removed and i'll put some pictures and stuff of kind of the progress that daniel had uh and he's just as cute as button so i kind of wanted to just, you know do grandfather grandfather and grandmother bragging right you know <laughs> yeah i mean he's he's cute you know yeah he's a cute kid well you probably should also discuss your medical well yeah for some reason, all of a sudden in November, perhaps concurrent with finding out about Daniel's status, but possibly just because there was a lot going on, um, my blood pressure was kind of out of control. Um, my doctor tried to work with me through the holidays, but when January came and I was still um, way above where they normally want to give medication, um, I finally consented to be put on some blood pressure meds and um so i've been on those now for about two and a half months maybe and they do seem to have uh made a little bit of a difference the plan is that i will get off them um so do you want to say anything about another contributing factor well basically in a nutshell <clears throat> without getting into a, a lot of detail um I had some pretty valuable items stolen 
from a uh, self-directed IRA. And you cannot imagine the crazy tax implications that result from such a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was, it has been quite a mess and it's still not resolved. It won't probably be resolved until probably the end of this year, but the tax part yeah. is handled. Yeah. And so we we know where we know where we stand tax wise, yeah. you know, yeah. and we're not completely yeah, we're, broke. We're, and we're not broke. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so for that reason, we're, yeah. you know, pretty happy, even though it sucks to get things stolen. Um, but honestly, compared to many of the other people that were affected, because it wasn't just me, it was about $76 million worth of stolen goods. And uh, they just have vanished. And I was a very small portion of that. <laughs> so, you yeah, know, yeah. Yeah. and Don't I'm be confused. Yeah, very small <laughs> portion of that. But, yeah. you know, it did it did have an impact on us and our finances, basically mostly our taxes. So, yeah. um so yes. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So But, you know, we're recording this um a couple of days after April 15th. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> So, you know, we we found out last week for sure what the numbers were got everything handled and are moving forward right um actually heading to persimmon hill soon and we look yes forward. we are looking forward to that yeah yeah looking forward to seeing some people that we met there last year yes we are yeah. very excited yeah and then um we need to talk about that oh we made Which a list is, so we wouldn't forget things. yeah because we we have there's yeah. there's a lot of factors to why we've been absent so we're trying to explain them all <laughs> <laughs> so i thought i sort of started touching on it I, I wanted to decide by the beginning of the year whether or not i was going to retire this year or in a couple of years when i reach full retirement age and i think for me um the stupidness with my blood pressure, um, I don't know, it, it kind of pushed me over the edge. It kind of puts things, I think, a little bit in perspective. Yeah. It's like, what's more important, really? Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, my blood so. pressure was going high enough, you know, that there was like, you need to get this down, you could go blind. You need to get this down, you could have a stroke. You need to get this down, you could have a heart attack. You need to get this down, you could destroy your kidneys. And, you know, all of a sudden being old became kind of real <laughs> and yeah, you know we're, we're not spring chickens yeah by any means. and even though in my mind i like to i like to think i still feel like i'm 18 well maybe not exactly <laughs> <laughs> maybe not exactly 18 anymore so so anyway you know then you sit down and you look at your finances and you talk to your financial planner and you say you know what I Which think we did have good news from the financial planner. I mean, he was like, yeah. he was like, yeah, you can retire. Yeah. So, so why would I keep working if I could retire? Right. Yeah. So, um, so I will officially leave Train Technologies, my employer, which has been a wonderful place to work for 20 plus years. Um, I will officially begin retirement October 1st. But well, she's going to stop working August. 30th or something like that? Late August, yeah, late 26th August. or 27th, something like that. I have vacation time and I only work part time. So that adds up to the month of September off. Um, and we're working on planning a trip then as well. Uh huh. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to retire. I've had my senior pass now for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And we can camp a lot of places pretty cheap. We can. So let's uh. go do it. So then now we're going to talk about the next big change that we made. Now, some of you are going to think we're crazy. And <laughs> yeah. you know what? We might be. We are. Like we really might be like it. a little we bit are. like off, you know, kilter slightly. We might not be, we might not be playing with a full deck, <laughs> but it is what it is. And we did what we did. And uh, so we're, we're going to just spill the beans. So <clears throat> first of all, uh, when we started this um, channel, we had a, um, a tent, and we had ordered. Well, a that's runaway. true. Yeah, <laughs> when we first started it, we had a tent. Uh, now we've had. Don't get me wrong. We've had campers 
for off and on. Yeah, for many, many years. And yeah. we've kind of gone through the phase of big, small, small, big, big, small, big, you know, back and forth. Uh, we started out with a pop up uh, camper initially, and then a trailer, and then, you know, yada, yada, yada. We've, we've been through a few campers over the years. And at the time that we started the channel, we had not, we didn't have a camper. We just right. t were tent camping. Yeah, we had ordered it. We had ordered but a was, runaway camper, right. which had, some of you may be familiar with. And, um, yeah. Which brings us to, uh, we changed campers. Some of you are aware we changed from the runaway to a ROG 12RK. Right. Uh, the main reason we changed to that one was mainly because of the kitchen. Uh, yeah. we, did, we just got tired of moving things around when we were traveling uh, from the trailer to the tow vehicle, from the tow vehicle to the trailer, back and forth, back and forth, yeah. food wise. Yeah, and we made that decision <clears throat> pretty quickly yeah, after we did. being on the road for three weeks. Yeah, we took, we took a three week trip and we were like, you know what, we need a kitchen. So yeah. uh, we got the ROG as a result, which was a great camper. Yeah, now you was. Now you kind of get the feel of where we're headed here. <laughs> uh, so what we have camper. done is we have bought a different camper. This will yeah. be camper number three in, in the matter of 12 months. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe 14 or 16 months. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Within 12 months. But at any rate, it doesn't yeah. matter. If this is our third camper. I hope this to be. <laughs> we our, intend that this is the last one for well, you know, many years. You say that the last one. Probably not the last one. But it's hopefully one that'll be a many years from now yeah. change many years from now yeah. uh, last well, many years we did. we did spend in the last 12 months um about 80 or 85 nights in a camper one camper or another <laughs> yeah. and um and we have been camping um several times since our last video yeah now, that's, you know, one of the things we haven't done, and I'll probably put some clips from some of the trips that we've taken that we have not put videos up on. We do have some footage and stuff from those. I'll just put some clips up so you can kind of see a, a little, like, synopsis of the different trips that we've taken uh, during this little hiatus that we've been on. So anyway, the big announcement. What we have done is we have bought a 2024 Tab 400 New Camp Tab 400. Yes. Which um, we're, so far, we're really, really happy with. Of course, you know, yeah. what does that mean to, for us? Because we were really happy with <laughs> the first <laughs> one, the second yeah. one, and now yeah. the third one. Well, I think it, it it's worth mentioning. It is. That close to a decade ago, we had a little guy, Max. We did, yes. And, and it, um, at least on the interior, is very similar. To it is the close, board. yeah. It's very, very similar. Uh, main, main thing being, you've got a bed that can always stay set up. You've got a dinette that can always stay set up, and you've got a kitchen and a bathroom. Those are the main things. And it has air conditioning and heat, and you know, yeah. oh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a very nice camper. We'll, you know, and if I was only working part time, twenty hours a week, and we were on the road and managed to camp at least 80 nights in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do when I'm retired starting in October? I see a whole lot more camping coming up is what right. I see. Right. And a whole lot more trips, you know? Yeah. So. so we're definitely planning on more trips, more nights in the camper. Um, after we, after looking at what we had and what our options were there and having a bathroom really kind of was becoming an issue for us. You know. Yeah, we kind of wanted to utilize um, Harvest Hosts, and we really couldn't really honestly utilize Harvest Hosts uh, with the setup that we had. Right. So, um, yeah. we, that was part of the reason. The other part of the reason was just really honestly, we had had this camper on our radar for years, really. Yeah. Um, We've talked about it and talked about it for years. And when Pam finally decided, yes, I am going to retire this year, it kind of pushed us over the edge uh, yeah. for making that decision. We decided we, we looked at some used ones. We looked at, you know, some different ones and kind of decided that the one we really wanted was a uh, Tab 400. And the one we really wanted was a new one that was ours. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, and, and this one, one of the things it has 
is um, Mark really liked the Battleborn battery. I it. do. I do like that. And I liked that in addition to being able to fold the dinette down and have a guest, and believe it or not, we've already had one for we several have, nights. Right? We have. Um, there's above the dinette, you can set up a bunk bed, and that is for Daniel. Mm -hmm. And probably other grandkids as well. True to our normal thing, you know, we rip the microwave out right away. And yeah, we don't added we rip that another out. battery. Yeah, and... we we we've changed it, made it ours immediately. Yeah. yeah. In which we've done with every single camper we've got, no matter whether we had it for a month or, you know, <laughs> however long we had it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. This is what we do, you know. Because yeah. yeah. well, we're gangsters. And I think you already <clears throat> did a video about the the cap. I did. The OVS cap for the I truck, did. which we are really liking. As yeah, well. one of the reasons why we got that cap is because we knew that we were getting this camper and it doesn't have a lot of outside storage. So we kind of needed the extra storage that was going to be available inside of the truck cap area. Yeah. So that was that was why that was. I didn't mention that, but that's why it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, finally, uh, a very exciting thing happened on the channel <laughs> we just passed 500 subscribers mm -hmm. which you know Thank you. yeah i mean you. that's you guys you know and and i don't know if you know this but we never never ever ask anybody to subscribe uh we don't ask you to cling the bell and and, and you know whatever, those whatever things are. all those <laughs> things that everybody always asks people to do we don't ask that, you know. No. Uh, we we do this because we love it, you know. We we like to help people, and you know anybody that's ever uh, reached out to us, you know, we have contacted you back. If if you reach out to us, we'll we'll answer you. He and, usually does because I'm still yeah. working. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I'm the guy that has nothing to do. <laughs> so so yeah, I'm I'll, I will answer you. Yeah. Um, and I'll do my very best to, to give you the best answer I can. That was a really cool, uh, what do you, what do you call Encouraging it? thing. Yeah, well, really. what, what do you to, call that when you meet like a threshold that, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. whatever that word it, is. It was an achievement. <laughs> an but, achievement, But there to think go. that there's 500 people, y'all, uh -huh. who s s apparently seem to find us interesting. At least moderately interesting. Or funny. Or, or stupid <laughs> or, or entertaining in some fashion right. and and so thank you yeah and we'll we will try and you know keep on being silly and stupid and everything else um but yeah we've actually got a lot more planned yeah. and uh, so there should be a whole lot more content and we'll start having more of it uh coming your way being that all of this uh dust has settled right so so things should start to to be a little bit better from here on out. So That's the plan, anyhow. let's give you a tour of the uh, new 2024 Tab 400. All right, so here she is. It's a little bit dirty, but we have been using it. Side. This is a 2024 Tab 400 Boondock Edition, which I believe that all of the 2024s are by default are Boondock. That's what they say. And here's the interior. Believe it or not, there's a bunk bed stuffed in behind that little... Uh, mm -hmm. Under there. Yeah, that little uh, pad there. And it just kind of folds out and lifts up and attaches up about that high. Up about, well, right about here. Yeah. So it can only hold 200 pounds and like five foot six or five foot eight. So, so it's really, so, for so if I get up there, I might break it. Yeah, you shouldn't go up in there. 
I so, see we've already personalized it with some of our stickers and yeah. our little love shack poster. Yeah. <clears throat> Got a little kitchenette. And yeah, we ripped the microwave out. cabinets there in a drawer a couple drawers actually in a cabinet I should say and then that that round part also has a cabinet in it mm -hmm. and then this table can be pulled out and put um, outside. put outside mm -hmm. and then here's the bathroom and we got to keep things sort of halfway set up and ready to go so we don't have to do a whole bunch when we get ready to go and um you know, I would like to point out, I think this little thing we did over there is a great idea for people who have the space on the inside and want to kind of document the places they've been. Um, these stickers are from some of the places we've been over the last year. And what I've started doing is um, like next to where it says Falls Lake State Recreation. That's where we were camping when Daniel was born so that we could be close to Duke. Um, medical center mm -hmm. and the sticker that says Holden Beach we went to Holden Beach for Amanda and David's wedding this so, is my our daughter and our daughter. Uh, father yeah. and, and son-in-law yeah so as I add stickers that have particular events attached to them they will be written like right around the edge of the sticker in small letters I'm writing what we did and when and with who details like that and uh, we're looking forward to turning that into a really nice memory board. So I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was cool and maybe I invented it. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't find it on Pinterest, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. thanks for following us, gangsters. Thank you very much. Bye.